So, I hit my first 100,000 followers on TikTok. And today we're gonna go over what I've learned from that process. I've messed up a lot. And for anyone who's using this time in quarantine to make content, I think this is the perfect opportunity to grow your TikTok account. All right, so before I jump into the tips I have for anyone starting out and making content on TikTok, let's just go over like the stats of how long it took me to get 100,000 followers. I think you need to fundamentally understand that I had TikTok before TikTok was even a thing. I actually downloaded Musical.ly back in 2016 and I made really embarrassing videos with my friends. They are not on the internet, so don't try to find it, but I used the app for fun. So then when Musical.ly Musically became TikTok, I didn't even touch it. I thought it was the weirdest thing and like many of us, I just thought it was this little dancing app for kids. It wasn't until last December I picked up the app again and I re-downloaded it and it took me around three to four months to get my first 100,000 followers. I do have to say TikTok moved really fast in the first few days. My first few videos got a million views and it was a story time of me telling my high school traumatic crush story. You guys can watch it if you'd like. But needless to say, in four months I've made a ton of viral videos, but I've also made a ton of shit videos that didn't get any views. So we're gonna go over what I've learned from this and how you guys can apply it to your own TikToks. My first mistake was trying to be perfect all the time. I definitely think I overthought TikTok for a little bit. The first viral video I got, like I said, was a story time and I saw the a million viewed count. So I thought, you know, in my head, let's just recreate it. And the minute I just recreated it for views, I believe the audience could tell how fake it was. So my biggest mistake was just trying to make videos for views. I know it's kind of hard, but you really have to be authentic and stop trying to care about the number because your audience can feel it if you're being fake. And that's what happened to me. So basically like one month into TikTok, I kind of got called out. I got a comment saying I was super fake. I'm trying too hard. And although they shouldn't stop me, I just think that's actually true. Like I was only doing things for viewers and I definitely think they could tell that you need to be more genuine. And I actually respect that. So I guess my first tip is to stop trying to be perfect over calculated. Just be yourself and more authentic and that will go way further. All right, mistake number two is waiting too long to execute trends. It kind of goes hand in hand with tip number one but when you overthink things, you don't post stuff. So like for the longest time, I was trying to calculate what's the strategy for viral success, but that literally prevented me from posting in the first place. Like I just stopped being consistent and TikTok's all about posting three times a day minimum. I, I really recommend that if you want to write it down. Go ahead. My biggest mistake was trying to prioritize quality and it sacrificed my quantity. And I know this is controversial, but I really do believe quantity brings quality. If you do it enough, you'll be actually be able to get better. And of course you should put out meaningful content. But I also believe that I learned that you have to be frequent with TikTok. It's all about frequent touch points. So in a weird way, if I were to prioritize quality or quantity, I'd pick quantity. So my biggest tip going off of this mistake is don't be afraid to save stuff to your drafts. You don't even need to post it sometimes. You can just save it to your drafts, but get in the habit of recording often. If you're so far enjoying this video, make sure you give this video a like. I'm just honestly spitting out my knowledge I've learned over the past four months. So if you're so far enjoying it, just let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, before I go into my third learning mistake, I do want to say that 100,000 followers is a lot. Like I remember when I was a kid, I feel like we all started YouTube channels back in the day. I grew up watching Bethany Moda, who was like a beauty YouTuber. And the reason why I'm telling you guys a story is because I remember the biggest number in any YouTuber or influencer's dream is like 100,000. It's like a big deal. Like that's when you get your YouTube plaque and everything. And although I didn't get a plaque from TikTok, I definitely think, you know, TikTok is this opportunity where it was when YouTube five years ago. And I feel like now 100,000 is like nothing compared to TikTok because people are getting millions and millions of followers in a span of a month. But needless to say, I think this number is still monumental and we should celebrate it. And for anyone who feels like they're not up to par or they don't have enough views, I just want to quickly remind you that 100, 1,000, you know, 10,000 can Connecting with that much people is still a lot. And I think social media is blown out of proportion where you have to have a million or 20 million followers to be happy. But even if you have a few hundred or thousand people watching you, that's just still mind boggling to me that a hundred people or even a dozen are just watching your content. I guess what I'm trying to say is we should all be more thankful about the audience and platform that we do have instead of complaining like we don't have enough views. I just want to put a reminder out that although I'm talking about numbers and all these statistics of how to go viral, I want to remind you that it's okay if you don't have a million or a thousand subscribers subscribers, even just a few hundred people that you're impacting is super important and really mind boggling. So just want to put that disclaimer out there. All right, number three is not pitching my TikTok to brands. If you guys don't know, you can actually make money on TikTok. Even if you have only like 10,000 followers on TikTok, that's actually still enough to start to make a little bit of capital. My biggest mistake was not pitching my account to brands soon enough. So I obviously have this YouTube channel where I do brand deals. I forgot that TikTok was a social media. So I literally, whenever I would do 
sponsorships. I would not even mention I had a TikTok. You know, brands were like, do you have any other profiles? And I was like, I forgot that I had a TikTok with 100,000 followers. So most recently I've been adding my TikTok profile to my media kit. And a media kit is what you send to brands and email so they can look over your profile and data to see if they wanna work with you. And most recently I've actually landed a brand deal with a bank. It's kind of weird and crazy. The bank's called HSBC. It's one of the largest banks in the world. And we did a whole campaign and they basically paid for my TikTok. And this is not about making money because I genuinely believe in the brand and the people that I'm working with. But I was just surprised that you could even do that in the first place. So my biggest mistake, I guess, was just not realizing that I had a value in a platform and I could work with brands way sooner than I thought. So if you guys want to see a whole video about how to make a media kit, I will make one, just comment below. But yeah, it looks like this. I'll put some screenshots up here. It's a PDF of all my data from TikTok and I can show you how to make one, but that's what I sent out to brands and it actually really worked. So I guess I learned I didn't have to wait till a million followers to get a brand deal. You could have 100,000 or 10,000 and get started making money on TikTok now. All right, number four mistake is not using original audio. I didn't realize that TikTok is not just a dancing app. That's one of the biggest misconceptions that everybody has, I feel like. I feel like the first thing that you do when you go on TikTok is see Charlie D'Amelio and then Addison Rae and think like, oh, I have to be a dancer now. For the longest time, yes, I was doing lip syncing videos and dances. I started to implement story times and just original audio. So just like me talking to the camera. And that's actually when my account started to grow. Like I didn't even know that original audio could do well and it did. So my first TikTok that went viral was a story time of me talking about me bleeding on my crush. Yes, this is a true story. I bled all over my crush and I accidentally touched my butt. My hand grazed my ass just to like check in, in the mirror, you know? And when I touched my butt, I lifted my hand and my hand was red. Um, anyways, that was all original audio. It wasn't Renegade, it wasn't a popular song, it was just me talking to the camera. And I guess my mistake was just not doing it enough. I thought the only thing you could make was dancing videos, but I was proven wrong. So I recommend for anyone moving forward to experiment with, yes, dancing videos, but also make a skit, use your own audio, and don't be afraid to get yourself out there. Okay, what? Hi, can I get a pumpkin spice cold brew, please? Oh, shit. Three, two, one. It's straight up just like a pumpkin pie. All right, so my last and final mistake that I've learned from is not making TikTok friends earlier on. So let me give you guys a story. Apparently, we're all aware that you can DM people on Instagram. There's literally videos and trends that are all about DMing celebrities and people. And for some reason, we don't bring that same logic to TikTok. Like, I feel like it's more weird to reach out to people on TikTok than it is to Instagram or something. Long story short, I've actually made a friend on TikTok. And what I did is whenever I find someone that's funny or I want to be friends with, I think we just comment on TikTok and leave it as is but you can actually just go ahead and DM them. And what happened was there's this photographer on TikTok, he's Brady, and I found a video from Brady, but I wanted to be friends with him. So I DM'd him to let's go on a virtual photo shoot together. The next day we had a phone call on Zoom and we immediately clicked. We not only took some amazing bomb photos, but we just had a great time and he ended up coming to my Zoom birthday party. <laughs> And like in the span of three days, we came so close and he's like one of my favorite people ever. And it's all through DMing people on TikTok, which I didn't even know you could do. So yes, I have 100,000 followers, but I, you don't need 100,000 followers to start to make friends with people. I really believe that what I've learned is you can actually connect with people right now, wherever you are. And it's actually some of the best feelings ever because you make a new friend and you get to actually meet the person behind the screen. And another example of this is my friend, Jeremy. I found Jeremy's TikToks a week ago or two weeks ago. and I. Thought he was so funny. He makes cooking videos. So I was like, I have a podcast. So I DM'd him on Instagram because I found his Instagram in his TikTok bio. And I was like, yo, let's go on a podcast together. So the, literally the next day we hop on a call and we recorded an amazing podcast. I will link it below if you want to hear our conversations. But yeah, we initially clicked off the bat. He's super funny. And I made two friends in the span of two weeks on TikTok, which is actually in a weird way, sometimes even better than getting 100,000 followers. Like, yes, you can be known to 100,000 people on the internet, but I think what's most gratifying is making true friends that can last a lifetime. If you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a like and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Love you, Darmination.